Welcome to PSLE Maths, a YouTube channel where you can find solutions to problem sums from past year question papers. Search using the school name and question number or the keywords in the question. Hello kids, let's look at question number 16 from River Valley Primary School, 2019 essay 1 paper. June and Kelvin have a collection of game cards. If June gives Kelvin half of her game cards, Kelvin will have 72 more game cards than June. If June gives Kelvin one sixth of her game cards, she will have 16 fewer game cards than Kelvin. How many game cards do they have in all? So let's first chart down June and Kelvin. First statement is if June gives half of her game cards. And the later statement is if June gives one sixth of her game cards. So in either case, the total number of game cards that June would have should be a multiple of 2 as well as 6. So let's take June to be 6 units. And let's have a box in place of Kelvin. Now if June gives half of her game cards, that means she gives 3 units. And then Kelvin has the same box and receives the other 3 units. Now Kelvin has 72 more game cards than June. So it just means the box is equal to 72 because Kelvin has 3 units plus 72 and June has 3 units. So the difference is 72 which means the original number of game cards Kelvin had is 72. Now the second statement is if June gives one sixth of her game cards which means out of 6 units if she gives off one sixth the remaining with her is 5 units. And Kelvin had 72 game cards and if he receives that 1 unit, he would have 72 plus 1 unit. Now June has 16 fewer game cards than Kelvin. What Kelvin has now is 72 plus 1 unit. 16 fewer than that is 72 plus 1 unit minus 16 is equal to 5 units what June has. From there, we get 4 units is equal to 72 minus 16, which is 56. So, we get the value of 1 unit to be equal to 14 game cards. Originally, June has 6 units, which is 6 times 14 equal to 84 game cards. The question is, how many game cards do they have in all? Kelvin has 72 and June has 84. So, that's a total of 156 game cards. So, that's the answer to this easy scoring 5 mark question. Hope you like this video please subscribe to this channel for more problem sums if you have a specific question that you would like to see a video on please post it in the comment section thank you